Hello everyone, I'm Brian. Today I'm going to be going over my fourth game as Tal, going up against Demons, which I had a really, really, really rough time with in 9th edition. But 10th, this is my first time battling against uh, Demons. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So, right here you'll see my commander in Crisis Suit. Even though it looks like a cold star, it's not. <laughs> and stepping on a guy. I don't know, can we see if it goes, oop, nope, it will not. So anyways, um, he's attached to the six-man crisis suit squad. All of them has the battle suit, battle suit support system, which allows them to fall back and shoot. Um, so my commander, in terms of other equipments, has three plasma rifles, as well as two gun drones. And three of these guys are going to have the exact same thing, three plasmas and two gun drones. And the other three is two plasmas, a shield generator, and two shield drones. They're my meat shields. Then as we get a little bit closer here, we're going to see my hammerhead with the missile pod drones, two seeker missiles, and the rail rifle. We have two, two broadside teams. They're equipped exactly the same. Uh, they have two shield drones. They have a seeker missile, twin plasma, and the rail rifle. Right here underneath, in this part right here, is my Commander Shadow Sun to give the reroll one's aura. This is my Pathfinders with three rail rifles, a uh, grab inhibitor drone, and a shield drone. This is my other six-man brick squad with my Crisis Commander. Again, equipped the exact same way as the other one. And don't mind this this crisis commander right here. He looks a little bit weird, but it's okay. And don't don't worry about their missing arms. Uh, you know, I'm still piecing them together. <laughs> and then my two uh, my three man squad of stealth suits to capture the objective and to screen out his infiltrators. I'll put my over here first, and he didn't want to place his over here clearly in front of my gun line. Oh, they're equipped with a marker drone and a shield drone. So that's what I'm up against with, is a, I believe it's Bellacore, I think that's a Bloodthirster, I'm not sure, I don't know demons very well, and you know, more demons over here. The dice are just there to represent the deployment zone. Obviously he deployed as close as possible, and Bellacore has this nonsense that says that you cannot shoot them out inside or outside of 18 inches, so you have to be within 18 to shoot them. Then there's these other infiltrators touching that objective and then objected over here also this is his reserves whatever these things are another bloodthirster I think and then the chicken again not familiar with uh, whatever <coughs> alright so this is uh, essentially turn one I can't, I can't remember if this is just right after movement or the end of turn one so my hammerhead has moved Shadow Sun's still over there, Oop. and my Crisis Suit moved up so I can be within 18 inches to shoot Bellacore to try to remove that stupid aura. And then my Stealth Suit moved to a little bit of a better position just in case he has shooting. Again, I'm unfamiliar with the, the demons here. Okay, so this is, that was in fact the end of my turn. Um, everything was moved, everything was fired. So now you can see here where Bellacore charged my Crisis Suit and the Bloodthirster, again, don't know. End up wiping out two of my Meat Drones, my Shield Drones, my Meat Shield Drones, <laughs> and one was left with five wounds uh, left over. We did do some damage, he only has 14 life right here, didn't do any damage to whatever this thing is. Um, yeah, so the Stealth Suit, as a matter of fact, he killed, this guy killed the Stealth Suits over here. And now this is my turn. Again, let's see. I ended up moving back, you know, falling back and shooting. So I think this is before my shots. This is in my movement phase. My stealth team is still up there, still doing decent. The other one died by that thing. And 14 wounds. And then I decided to drop my crisis suit in the back line over here to apply some pressure. And then he did rapid ingress or whatever it is to put those demons back there. So this is after my shooting phase. And notice uh, no more demons, no more big guys. Oh, this is probably actually after his as well, I think, because my stealth suits are not there. Let's see. 
Nope, this is actually after my shooting phase. So I did just kill three of these guys with a whole bunch of plasma fire. And the gun drones didn't really do too much. So this is his turn two now. Because the freaking chicken popped in right behind my uh, tank. This is, by the way, at the end of his turn. So he tried to charge my hammerhead but failed. I was moving these whenever I started to record so I can get the action and still, you know, Shadow Sun staying back there. So my stealth seam up here got killed by the chicken and the rest of the crisis suit was killed by that guy that actually passed the charge. And then he charged me. I did an overwatch and killed one more, I believe. He had a seven total, I believe. And now is my it was a turn three. I moved the hammerhead away from the chicken because I don't I didn't want to get it charged. And then he got shot up by broadsides, everything I got in the front line. And you'll see over here, I end up moving forward and shooting out with all the plasmas into the squad and all the gun drones into this thing over here. So I killed two of um, of whatever's left, whatever that thing is, and got rid of the other two of the non-characters. So this is a character. And yes, Tao will be charging that one thing there. There we go, charged. <laughs> and it's gone. So I still have one of my meat shields here, the red, the red uh, shoulder blade, or two of them actually, and gun drones and shield drones. I don't, I don't put a gun drone and shield drone in every single one of these. I just put these out there as a representative. So uh, this is a double gun drone for my commander, double gun drones for the white shoulder pads, and double shield drones for the red ones. All right, so this is his turn. Uh, I believe this is his turn four. He, turn four, turn three, anyway, one of the turns, uh, he ended up charging my Shadow Sun and completely flopping, didn't even deal a single damage to her. And then over here, he charged my Crisis Suits. So on my turn, I end up, oh, he did end up killing, I guess he, he ended up, hold on, let me back it up a little bit. So he ended up killing the two meat shields that had left over here because whenever he charged, he deals mortal wounds. And um, he ended up, whenever he charged also, I also end up failing um, my battle shock test. So I could not put up, pop a stim uh, stratagem on them. So they basically had to feel the pain. So in my turn, I fell back with Shadow Sun, and guess what the bird's gonna eat? I ha I should have messed with these guys, but I didn't have enough. Um, I was too worried about the bigger the bigger threats on the battlefield, even though they were mostly gone now. So so I did end up falling back uh, because again again fall back and shoot. And then on my, this is essentially roughly towards the end of the round. The bird is dead. Uh, killed off the last guy up there, which we'll see pretty soon. I don't think I recorded this round because all he had was just these guys move. We'll see. So this is essentially, this is my turn five. So my turn four, I retreated back, killed off the bird. His turn five, he moved just these guys and nothing much else. My turn five, I moved this up to try to capture objectives, but I'm too far. So he just, on his end of turn four, he just moved these guys a little bit, you can see. And this is actually my movement before I shot. I moved up so I can try to get rid of the blue guys because they have OC1 and these yellow things. I think they're OC0, he said. So if I can get rid of the blue ones, I could get rid of them capturing an objective. But again, yeah, I didn't really do much over there because I couldn't capture an objective. I was too far away. Those guys were untouched, and the only thing that was left from that squad was just those two guys left after the plasma shots and the gun drone shots. I ended up moving these guys back right there. So, yep, that was my experience. 
uh, for time playing them. So they were, they seem to be quite effective, um, even against demons with essentially everyone having a four up invul saves. But my biggest thing is scoring points. So I, again, this is, what is it? Uh, I did tactical missions, so every round was kind of like a new mission because I'd mostly complete them. And then on turn two, let's see if I can rewind back. Turn around, roughly turn two. Again, since I can't really push and I'm trying to screen them out, from dropping between my broadsides and crisis. These were just kind of the screening towards the front whenever he dropped in his uh, reinforcements. Um, so he killed my scoring group over there, which was kind of bad. And then my scoring unit over there got killed by the chicken. So at one or two turns, he prevented me from getting at least 10 points on the primary. So that's a thing that I'm struggling now is with scoring. So that, again, you know, as I play, I try to build a list first to see, make sure I can kill things, and then I worry about scoring because if I can't kill anything, generally speaking, it's not fun. But obviously, if you if you can, you can literally score and not kill a thing and win the game, which is kind of not good. So I focus on killing first and then scoring. So I did make a new list. Um, I'm gonna see how that goes and eventually reveal it. But yeah, plasma plasma with gun drones are very deadly. Plasma, reason why being, is dealing, it's a very medium-esque weapon, it's not for light, it's for elites, and can still deal with light and heavy things like these guys and tanks. Not super effective, but nonetheless, they, they're capable of it. And then the gun drones is for whenever they do go against, you know, light infantry and stuff. So what's that, uh, 3, 6, 9, 3, 6, 9, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 plasma shots. Because there's 3, 3, 3. Then 2. Then another 3 of these guys with 2, 2, and 2. 3, 3, 3 is 9. Plus 2, 4, 6. That's 15. 16, 17, 18 with the uh, commander. So 18 plasma shots can take out almost a 20 man brick. Then you have 2, 4. What's it? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times 4, 16. Um. Pulse rifle, pulse carbine shots, 20 inches, so, and that's to handle lighter infantry. Hitting on fours, re-rolling ones, and twin link for wounds. So you, you're going to get decent amount of firepower out of those gun drones. The the meat shields handled pretty well, honestly. Obviously, <laughs> against big guys like that, I'm amazed of how well they handled themselves. Um, and I'm amazed how well my broadsides did handle them too, because yeah, and four up invul. Uh, I'd say I was rolling maybe slightly above average, and he was rolling maybe slightly below average. And what I mean, what I mean by above and below average, I'm talking about fours, like rolling fours and above or below fours. So if I was rolling fours and missing, I would still consider my rolls to be slightly above average. Again, I am hitting on fours typically, but um, and most of the time I'm actually wounding um, kind of uh, <laughs> on that against this mixed group of uh, enemies here. Really high toughness, really low toughness, but just a four up invul. And Bellacor was, even though Bellacor was, didn't seem very threatening in melee, actually. This guy, whoo, man. Good thing he, the, the stealth suits ate his shot, uh, ate his attacks. Uh, because otherwise I think all my meat shields would have been gone by that point. Bellacor didn't really hit very hard. Um, I thought he'd be a little bit more threatening, but it's just the sheer fact of that 18 inch aura that you cannot shoot unless you're within 18 inches is really, really bad. I had to get rid of that. Otherwise it is literally stopping my army. And I didn't want to move our broadsides because they need to stay and hit. <laughs> so let's see what else. I will say something was a bit off in our scoring. I think I scored around 55, 65, somewhere around door, around there, and he scored, I think, 95. And this is the list that he's going to take to tournaments, and this is my list I'm going to take to local tournaments. <laughs> Again, not a professional player here. I just I love playing, having fun, thinking of weird things, and yeah. 
So my next objective now is that I, I found something that seems fairly decent in terms of killing. Now I'm going to try to run a list that I can at least do some killing and scoring. Uh, oddly enough, I don't have all the models. I have a lot of town models, but I don't have the particular ones that I just added to my list. Well, anyways, let me know what you guys think. <laughs> I mean, this is a very odd recording. Uh, I didn't have my setup, which I kind of want to do, but I kind of like this this way easier. It's just, you know, I show it off and I just talk <laughs> over my uh, gameplay here. Hopefully this is a pretty good uh, example of... Uh, of me displaying my gameplay, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, let me let me know what what you guys think, especially with my army list here. It's, it's just it is very, I would say it is quite very heavy. There's not enough uh, mobility or sacrificial models, I guess you could say. My stealth, my two stealth teams were kind of that, and they did in fact sacrifice themselves. I didn't have too many scoring units, and the biggest issue was the fact that most of them heavy hitter, heavy hitter, heavy hitter, and the pathfinders. I kind of kept them back because I needed the rail rifles as well. I should have moved them out and pushed these guys forward, which I did. I was a little too worried about just so many demons, and I'm I'm not aware of how they play. So I tend to, whenever I play against an army I never played against before, I don't research them or anything. So I figure it out on the spot, and usually uh, <laughs> that's how I learn how to play against the army typically. I guess that's it. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down below. If you like my content, please consider subscribing. Thumbs up, thumbs down down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vid.